ready to get it going. And it's Kansas winning the tip, coming in at 21 and nine on the season for this reigning national champion team. And Anna women's basketball history. She is a regular in the NCAA tournament, has done a great job with this team, and she has superstars just like that with Haley Jones. Hitting with the sacks early on in this game, Tiff. I know I'm not a band director, but we made, we created the band. We channeled a little bit of the energy. <laughs> we had eight points in the last game. Hatsuleonti, one of the few in double figures for the Jayhawks as Curtis Peter gets on the board. A good defender off the bench also gave them a nice boost. She is guarding Hull. Brink for three. Yes! Cameron Brink. She's come through on the paint, but this play, Cameron Brink recognizes the help. She steps out. She can hit this three. It moved to plus 14 with that win yesterday in terms of that turnaround as Papa Dupulu couldn't stop Cameron Brink. The dark days and hotels and isolation, she felt like if they didn't, it was wouldn't have been worth it. I mean, they, they put so much effort into that national championship. Well, Belibi hands it over to Hull, and Lexi Hull trains it at 13 points yesterday. She and Haley Jones played the most minutes. You know, for these players, this is the first time they're playing in front of fans. 2020, COVID canceled the season. Fran Belibi said, I felt the energy because this was missing last year. Of Anaya Thomas, the senior out of Duncanville, Texas. And she tosses it down the twin Jackson. That's the patience I'm talking about. She knocked down five threes in that win over Montana State. And the answer back the other way by Hatsuleonti. Franklin off the mark. Thomas is right there. The old board. They get one more shot. Hatsuleonti. Hatsuleonti was hot from the corner. Given Stanford everything they've got, Hatsuleonti in the corner, bury it. Bringing in that 41 point win is the largest in tournament history against Montana State. As Haley Jones with the bucket, she's got four points now. Surviving against Jackson State, they'll take on Ohio State tomorrow. I had me and you and the Stanford players walk, gathered around a laptop. Oh yeah. Tough pass handled by Hull. What a wow. move by Lexi Hull. <laughs> I'll tell you, an area where we've seen Kansas shine in moments is being able to force some steals and turnovers. Anaya Thomas able to go coast to coast. There it is. There's that backdoor cut that they were mentioning. Well, Kansas is, is, is out rebounding Stanford, which is impressive considering the fact that they're really not the same height, athleticism at each spot, but. With Steph Curry's mom at Virginia Tech. Thomas left alone and the free throw line jumper just extended there. And blocked again by Jackson, a little chatter afterward. A nice play up ahead, the bounce pass come in eager, ready to play, trying to take their program back to the Sweet 16 for the first time in nine years as Lexi Hall, Lexi Hall sees that one roll around. Brasso, quick release, yes, we're tied at 31 all. Wilson back in the game. Let's see how their offense looks. As you check out our game track brought to you by Adidas and tie ball game once more. She's on the inbound pass. And Lacey, that's this one. They have four triples in the first quarter. In the Big 12. And they've proven everybody wrong with a breakthrough season. Holy 
leading the way with 13 points for the Cardinal, getting her hand on that one, tough. but Zakiya Franklin making that tough shot, as you mentioned. And she's a player who was slow to get going in that game. They like her production here. That backdoor cut again and run to perfection. Great execution on the assist was Joan. That's how difficult it is to, to guard Stanford. Every player on the court is a threat for them offensively. And what did you say Coach Brandon says, look, we can't guard everything, but we can't be scared either as Brasso. Wilson running to that rebound. The O board keeps it with Stanford. And Lexi Hall answers on the other end. Lexi Hall, who has had an, an outstanding game so far with 18 points. And Twin Jackson right there is Twin Jackson. They'll need her offensive presence more in this second half. Seeing the best of the best right now, Tiffany. I mean, players just making plays. These are tough twos, tough threes by both teams right now. Hatsaleonti, high kiss off. Hole going behind that screen and got it again. And with those $6 plus gas prices out here in California, it takes a lot to fill up that tank, but man, it seems like she never runs out of fuel. So big basket out of the break for Kansas to cut the lead to six, and then Hannah Jump extends the lead. Although Lacey does boast being an inch taller. At one point or another, and what a basket by Fran. Bellini. is she's only six foot one. Most dunkers we've seen are, are tall. Brittany Griner, six seven, six eight. Candace Parker, six four. Fran Bellini is only six one. As Curtis Geeter brings her team within ten. If you're just tuning in, folks, the top seeded Cardinal have been pushed all game long. She's, she's got to want it and call for it. Got to make them guard her down low. Hannah Jump. All she needs is just a second and a little bit of space. Hole. That's Lacey Hole. Defensive scouting for 30 minutes. I mean, stuff you don't see every day. I was going to say, we it's very have different. been to a number of practices, not only just this season, but over the years. You know, the, the big threes, the easy twos, Gave them so much energy, and then they really utilize it on the defensive side of the floor. Hello, Lexi Ho. Oh, my goodness. Lexi Ho. Two-time Washington Gatorade Player of the Year. Talking about Player of the Year. Here's the Pac-12 Player of the Year. Smooth, fluid moves from Haley Jones. It was back in 2013. A large deficit to overcome. If they want a shot at doing it again for the Cardinal at 150, she's like a super, super, super senior. senior. Yes, she is. 24-year-old <laughs> out of Seattle, Washington. It's just on any given night or day, somebody on this Stanford roster can hurt you. Go for it, baby. Yes. Night. It's your night, and it's been all Lexi Hall. is able to drop in. Outstanding year for the senior, Lexi Hull, who's trying to push her team back toward Spokane and beyond. And what helped push her team. Less than four minutes away from another trip to the Sweet 16. You blink and it's a 30-point game. And that is just how good Stanford is. And Franklin with the runner. 
And, you know, you have to give credit to Stanford and, the, and their dominance this year. I mean, they're a one seed for a reason. To keep up with them for full 40 minutes, not many teams have. With the bucket, they say she's an All-American in waiting. Again, that's what makes the Stanford team so dangerous is they have so much young talent. But when you're talking about the blue bloods of college basketball, you think of Tennessee and UConn and Stanford. Those handful of losses coming at less than five points or five points or less. Young faces in this program keeps adding to this lead. And Vucic answers and back the other way. Yeah, she's like, let me get mine right now. Kudos to this Kansas Jayhawk team. Put up a great fight. And for two of the seniors, their last in this uniform.